Hi guys, my name's Megan, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how I wash my daughter's cloth diapers. Now I have a very simple routine and I use only natural stuff and it's probably a lot different than most people wash their cloth diapers. I think that they usually recommend that you use store-bought soaps and bleach to strip them, but I don't use any of that stuff. I use my own homemade laundry detergent. And I just wanted to real quick show you guys how I wash mine since I've been doing this kind of cloth diapering 101 series. I'm sure a lot of people out there are looking for a way to naturally wash their diapers and not have to use any chemicals on them. And this has worked amazingly well for us. I've been using this same routine for six months and we have not had any trouble with stinky diapers, any stains we can get out by bleaching them in the sun. We've never had to use any chemicals and it's worked so amazingly well. So I just wanted to share how I do it. So right here I have my wet bag with all my dirty cloth diapers. This is about three days worth. It's been about that long since I washed them last. And I go anywhere from like one day to four days depending on how much she's peeing, how busy my schedule is, it, it can really vary a lot and I have about 30 diapers. That seems to be just the right amount for us. I do want to get some more just because I want to try some more kinds, but 30 is like good for us and not have to be washing them constantly. So what you're going to do is you're going to just open your washer and I've already unstuffed all of my pocket diapers. They are like ready to go in here. Uh, right after I take them off of her, I bring them in the bathroom and I have the wet bag hanging on one of our towel hooks and I unstuff the pocket diaper and I put it right in here. So all you have to do is dump this in the washer. I try to spread them evenly around our top load washer. This might be a little harder if you have a front load washer. Once you have all the clothes out, I just turn this inside out. And I just put it right in here so it can wash with the diapers. Now this isn't a packed full load. I don't like to pack it too full because I find that it washes a lot better if it has some room to move around. So that's about the perfect amount for washing them. So I like to do a rinse before the actual wash. I like to rinse, do the rinse with some apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna pour about a quarter cup in here. I'm gonna close the lid. I'm just gonna set it to rinse. And that will do a cold rinse and I will come back when it's done. So now let's talk about what I do with the diapers before I put them in the washer. Right now my daughter has been exclusively breastfed up until a few weeks ago when I started feeding her some solid foods. So her poop is still perfectly fine to put in the washer with everything. And it's still so runny that it'd be really hard to rinse off in the toilet or something. So I just throw everything in the wash right now. Pretty soon I'm gonna have to start doing the dunk and swish method where I just hold it by a clean part and I dunk it in the toilet and swish it around and I flush the toilet a few times and it will take all the poop off. This works better for when they are getting more of the peanut butter poop and then the solid poops. But right now, from newborn up until around six months, whenever you start feeding them, feeding them solids, it's perfectly fine to just throw everything in the washer. They have come out perfectly clean every time. I've even washed them with some of our other clothes and I've never had an issue with anything smelling weird or not cleaning properly or staining. So it's totally safe and totally fine. Newborn poop is not very gross. It doesn't really stink very bad and it's just from your breast milk. The reason for doing a first cold rinse is to just get the excess chunks of anything or just anything you can get off before you do the hot wash. And then the hot wash is to do a really deep clean and then it doesn't have to get off the initial stuff. That's what the first one does and so I found that's just a really effective way to get them really clean. Later. Okay now these are done with their cold cycle and now we're going to move on to the hot cycle. We have an instant hot water heater and I like to set it to about 115 degrees. The max it can go is 122 and that seems to be a little bit too hot. I don't want to burn the lining on the diapers so I usually set it for 115 to wash these. So I'm going to use my own homemade powdered laundry detergent. You can also use a liquid form. I usually just use this because it's super easy and it does a great job. I actually did a video with the recipe that I will link in the description box and up in the cards if you guys want to try it out. But I love this recipe. I have been using this recipe since she was a newborn and it has worked well since then. So you're going to put two tablespoons of this in your load and you might be tempted to put more in thinking, oh I'll put a little extra, it'll get a little extra clean. 
but no, it will actually put a barrier over the, the diaper. This is especially a problem if you're using pocket diapers, which I am almost using exclusively pocket diapers. I have a few covers in there, but pocket diapers are my favorite. So if you use too much of this, it will put a moisture barrier over the diaper so that all the pee will just run out of the sides, which is not good. So two tablespoons of this will clean it just fine, but any more than that, it will actually cause problems, not clean it better. If you find that even that is too much, or you accidentally put in more than that, the way you fix it is you run it through your washer a couple times on hot with no detergent, run it through a couple times and then lay them out in the sun and that should take care of your over detergent use. So I'm just putting in two level tablespoons and I'm gonna make sure it's on hot, the hot setting, and it's on a large load and then I'm gonna set it to an entire load, not just a rinse. Later. Oh, you guys, I have the worst mop brain today. I just came in here because the laundry's done. I started talking to the tripod and I was talking for a while before I realized that the camera wasn't even on it. Oh my gosh. Mob brain, I am so ditzy today. It's ridiculous. Anyway, what I was saying is that now the laundry's done, I'm gonna take it and I'll put it in my laundry basket and me and Sophia are going to go outside and hang it along our fence line. That is our clothesline. I already have another dirty diaper. This will have to go in the next one. Now, if you ever notice that you start to have trouble with them staining, the way that you do this without having to use conventional bleach is that you just wash them and then you hang them out to dry. And that's what I do anyway. I love hanging them out to dry. I try to never wash my covers or pocket diapers. The liners are okay to dry in the dryer, but your diapers will last so, so much longer if you hang them out to dry. It really puts a lot of wear and tear to put them in the dryer. But if you don't have time, really don't worry about it. For like the first four months, I just put them in the dryer because it was winter and I had a new baby and I did not feel like doing that. But now, after I've noticed that there is a lot of wear and tear on them, I hang them outside to dry almost every time, unless it's raining. And that just dries them naturally. It also bleaches them in the sun. It doesn't put too much wear and tear on them. So it's just super great for a lot of reasons. And I find that hanging laundry outside is very therapeutic. I really enjoy doing it. And that is how I wash my cloth diapers. <laughs> All that's left to do is get them off the line once they're dry. I let them dry for several hours. Hopefully I didn't forget anything, seeing as I'm not totally with it today apparently. But that's just a really simple routine. It's really easy, it doesn't take a lot of time. If you wanted to make it really short, you could put them in the dryer and just plan on having them not last quite as long, it might not last, not last through as many children, but if it's gonna save you a lot of time, that might be worth it for you. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I post three new videos a week on Monday, Thursday, and Saturday, and I will see you next time. Bye.